everyone. Today we are going to make a Dalmatian dog craft out of a handprint. Now this would be great for people of all ages who would like to do some type of craft. Maybe if you're a teacher you're wanting to do a dog lesson. This would be a great way to integrate that into your lesson. And it would also be something that kids especially would enjoy because they like to paint their hand and everything involving dogs that I know they always love. Now, this is what we're going to start with. Here's our material list of things that you'll need. I'll just read them off. You will need a white non-allergenic paint. Now, that, you know, you need to make sure because some students might be allergic to that, that you need to make sure it's non-allergenic and that it is also washable. And then you will need scissors, construction paper of probably a darker color, dog ear and face template, which I'll show you later, um, a brad, which is something that you'll hook the head on, and then markers and crayons for children to decorate the craft with. Now, the dog can be of any breed. You can color it brown. You could have them paint their hand brown and then do spots on it, stripes, whatever they want. But today, we're going to make a Dalmatian because I like the way it stands out against this backdrop. Now, what we're going to do, hopefully this paint makes a normal sound. There we go. You can do this. I'm going to take my rings off. You can do this at any time. It's probably easier, I find, just to put the paint right in the kid's hand or person, whoever is doing this. Now make sure it's a thick coat. A tip I also learned in art class that I actually forgot to do is when you're painting your hand, it's good if you put some like lotion on beforehand. That will help the paint come off easier. But hopefully this will come off since I forgot that step. Alright, so as you can see, I'm doing a thick coating all the way around the hand. Alright, and on this construction paper, we're going to do a nice, firm print like this. And you want the fingers spread a good distance. And after a few seconds, you'll have that, okay? And now what I often do is, like, you can paint in these lines if you want just to make it look a little more realistic. But if not, it's okay too. And what you should hopefully be seeing is a dog's four legs and its tail, all right? So now, as you can see, we have the tail and the four legs. Now, what we're gonna do, here is the template for this. Here's the template, and here is what the children would cut out, okay? This is the dog's head, these are its ears. Now, I have a pre-cut one that is already cut out. And what you could do, I'm just going to go with the hand wet, but normally you would have the kid wash their hands. Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to tape the ears to the dog after they've cut them out, as you can see, like that, there's one. The other one, like this. All right, now we are going to, where did my brad go? Here we go, we have a little brad like this. I'm going to just stick this through the back of the construction paper, through the front, if it will work, there we go. Now, now we have a dog's head that will rotate, okay? So what we could do is that after they're all done with that, they can color in the Dalmatian. And what they could do is if you had, you know, if you wanted it to be a Dalmatian, you could do little spots all around, as you can see that I'm doing some spots. This dog has a little bit of 
a tuft of hair that's coming up from it. But, um, you can also do spots on the hand. And I think this would be really cute as a class to have a class bulletin board that you could do. And put them all up. And of course you could cut off any excess if it's not exactly in center. So here's your little puppy. And that is how you do a Dalmatian puppy for your class. Thank you.